Sir John Chilcott's scathing report into Britain's role in the 2003 Iraq war has produced an apology from former Prime Minister Tony Blair, but anger from activists and some of the families of soldiers who died in the conflict. Chilcott concluded that Blair had overstated the threat posed by Saddam Hussein, had sent in ill-prepared troops into battle and relied on unreliable intelligence. For his part, the former British leader said while he apologised for his mistakes, he had acted in good faith. I only ask with humility that the British people accept that I took this decision because I believe that it was the right thing to do based on the information that I had and the threats I perceived. Despite a passionate defence and assurances that he had not lied nor misled the country, his critics still want Blair to face criminal action over his decision to invade Iraq. Tony Blair should be in The Hague on war crimes, definitely, after the stunning report. We have to campaign for him to have some political sanctions. He should not be a respected figure wandering around the television studios in the way that he has done. He is absolutely finished politically. A spokesperson for some of the families of the 179 British service personnel killed in the Iraq war said their loved ones had died unnecessarily and without just cause and purpose.